All right, so here we are in the studio slash room of where I sleep. Today, we're, what are we doing? We're talking about, is it even recording the screen right now? How to get started with FL, right? Don't mind my uh, uh, headphones. I'm just trying to make it so you can hear clearly, I can hear clearly. So we we don't interfere with anything, right? Now, when you, if it, when you get FL, right, you probably want to make something pretty nice. So all you pretty much need to do, right, when you first get in here, just uh, this is for 12 by the way if you have 11 I guess I could do a video for there too if you're more interested in 11 but we're going with 12 right so we're adding a plugin a VST which is a virtual instrument right we're gonna add one of those so just say you add Nexus which I have downloaded third party it didn't it doesn't I mean it doesn't come with FL right so when you add something like Nexus it'll bring up uh, I'll just delete that one because I already have one up. I come up with all these presets, right? And these are just different sounds, really. So I like dance piano because it's just simple. Dance piano 2K7 because it's just a piano kind of lead kind of thing. Uh, so we'll listen to that quick on the melody that I put. But once you select a preset, you're just going to go up here to view piano roll. And then it'll look blank for you, obviously. But then you just kind of lay your notes out into... Uh, melody. So this is what I was playing with before I started recording this, right? See, that's just basic, yeah? It's just a kind of layered so it sounds bigger. Um. That sounds a little better with the one high. So there we fixed it, right? So there we have one layer, right? But for, like, this will be the main melody, right? So we're going to want multiple layers of sounds on this. Uh, it's not really getting too advanced. I'm just kind of showing the simple, like, the very first thing you... This is how I work on, at least. Uh, so then I go into silence. Sometimes I don't... Oops. I don't use just Nexus. I like to use silence a lot just because I have a lot more presets for there. And everything you can find really easily like these uh, sample packs and everything um, is just they're pretty easy to find and download same with presets for VSTs like silent and we'll just take one of the preset packs and then we'll just take one of the leads so we'll just listen around uh, I should probably go copy that and see how this sounds here yeah, no, that sounds like shit. See, that sounds nice, right? So this is pretty much all you do, at least in here, is that you just listen for a sound that you like that would go well with the other layered. So you're just layering so everything sounds really clean. I don't know if this will sound clean, but... Yeah, it doesn't sound so clean with the piano in there. But, uh... uh like I said, it, I just use the piano just to start off to get a good... Get a good melody going, but... So we'll just add another layer to it just to just to make it sound nice. Uh, so you kind of just want to go through all of them, and then I usually unmute here on the left of them, just so I can listen to them separately before I mix them together, kind of thing. So we'll just see how these other ones sound. usually like to tweak around with these presets I just kind of because I have so many presets and you can find so many presets I kind of just look for one that sounds good I don't usually mess with them sounds good now we're done with that we're done with we got our melody going so now uh, the FL comes with some kicks and claps and stuff uh, so pretty much we're just gonna make a new pattern up at the top go scroll through a new pattern and then we're just gonna find some kicks and some 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 claps like I think I have what is this one? Uh, kicks, we'll find some punchy kick. Punchy kicks are always good. I like that one. We're going back to our pattern. Our pattern. We'll get out of here. We're going to our pattern too. Drag our kick on there. 
and fill it for four steps. All I did was right click there. So now it sounds like this. All right, but we need a kick in between, or we need a clap in between the kicks, rather. Um, this one, I like. So just in between the kicks, like so. I'll drag that out a little bit. No! That's just on my, my side. All right, beautiful. So now we put it on the bottom. Well, what's going on? That kick is freaking overtaking the lead, am I right? So here's what we do, right? We go to, to view, we go to mixer. Uh, we make sure we have our lead selected, right? So all the elements of our lead. If I can, mm, mm, which are these two, this two silence, right? That we went over. Uh, so we just select those two by right clicking. Yeah, right. Yeah, right click both of them. So they're both selected. Then we'll go back into the mixer, right click on one of the inserts and route those to that track. And then we're going to go over here to one of the slots. This is just add effects is what we're doing here. So right in kickstart, one of the best plugins ever because it's a side chain. So it goes. <laughs> what side chain does is just make space for kicks and claps and everything right that you have in the middle. So now it won't seem so overtaken by the kicks. It's still really, that's a really big kick. Jesus. <laughs> Do you have any smaller kicks? And if you ever have an issue like this, like something's overtaking it, just turn it down. Just turn it down, like that. Why is it so freaking big? Here's another example. If anything is kind of seems like it's overtaking, like going over what you don't want, add a sausage fattener. It's a plug-in. Oh my god, my toe is stuck on this cable. It makes it sound a lot bigger. Uh, because we haven't finished adding effects to it. Right, I can see why... Um, it would sound like it's getting taken over by the kicks and everything. Uh, so we're, no, no. Okay, this reverb, this, there it is. I'm just gonna add a little. Beautiful. Okay, so now it shouldn't sound too bad with the kick. Yeah, pretty nice. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you get started, right? So you need to get the program. Get with the program, FL Studio 12. It's smooth, it's quick. It's, it's overall a pretty decent thing, but that's not what we're here to talk about, right? If you have any questions, leave them in the comments so I can read them and reply. Or if there's a lot of comments, I'll just make a video answering to all the comments, kind of like one of those one of those gay Q&A's that you see all the time. But I'll do it for you if that's what you want. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this, and uh, if you learned something, that's that's great, I'm glad. Um, yeah, and if you have any questions, if you haven't heard my new track, Higher, you should go listen to that. I mean, you don't have to, I'm not telling you what to do, but if you want to, it'll be, it'll be up somewhere. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you'd like more. Leave a like. If this video gets this video gets five likes? I don't even know.